Hey guys, Generation here. So here we are again, second night in a row, out at the lamp post. Oh boy, um, so hopefully there's no galvantulas <laughs> out here right now. So these are the sets um, that I, uh, this is the set that I had to uh, hit rank 10 today. Um, bit of a blitz this season. I know <laughs> it's a lot of people out there giving people who use bronze or hell, but you know, I just kind of wanted the blitz to 10 and then have some fun afterwards. But yeah, and hopefully this will help you guys out. Um, I hope you enjoy the team. I hope you like it. Um, it worked out really well for me. Obviously, there's a lot of hard counter teams out right now to it. But still, there's not really too many people that lead Bronzor, I've found. Um, in this set in particular, I did find some people that did lead Bronzor. Um, this isn't as long as a video as um, my rank nine sets, but um, but yeah, um, I still have some sets left actually, I believe I have two sets left I can play at rank 10 in <clears throat> and have a little fun. So maybe I'll record some rank 10 battles later on um, with some weirder teams. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for Little Cup for me anyway, um, as far as like actually trying it. <laughs> I know it's kind of sad trying in Little Cup, but um, hey, you know, it's important to some people and that some of us just have that competitive nature and that's okay. Um, yeah, so um, here we have like an almost mirror team by the looks of it. <clears throat> so of course we bring out the Stunky. Started with the Bronzor. He uses Confusion though. Guys, I'm telling you, don't use confusion on your bronze ore. I've had way more success um, with tackle. I just have. I haven't seen like any situations where I would have rather had, or many, I should say, I, should, I haven't seen many situations where I'd rather have had confusion. The matchups are already either a won or a lost cause in this league, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's a couple of them that are a little better, but watch this move here. <clears throat> watch what I do. Just to hang on because I'm not sure if he's got a dark, uh, another d double dark in the back. If it's a Dino, I want to be able to get off one charm. <clears throat> so let's see here. So why not? So we won this match. I think I needed to go three and two in this match. Needed to go three and two. <clears throat> now, um, you can take a, a mirror coat from one of these, no problem. It's just the quick move damage that's going to get you if you do take one. So I swapped the Bronzor in to catch the Mirror Coat. I dealt as much damage as I could though first so you guys didn't have to sit through a horrific why not on Bronzor um, match of the ages. <laughs> Those matches suck so much. All right, so at this point in the set, um, we're two wins away. I think, yeah, we're two wins away or something. I think we just needed to go three and two, which is exactly what we went this set, which is pretty cool. Oh, I got a, uh, a Lugia reward. Guys, they do exist. I got a 98% Lugia <laughs> from my, one of my rewards, a 2115, I think. Maybe that's a hundo. Is that a hundo? 2115? If I got a hundo Lugia, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, it was, it was 2115. I think that's a hundo. <laughs> I think I got a freaking hundo Lugia from rewards. It wasn't shiny. I still don't have a shiny. I did like... Oh, God. You guys don't even want to see the amount of Lugias I have in my inventory. It's disgusting. It's upsetting to some viewers, I'm sure. So, cottony on cottony action. Now, that might have been a bit of a mistake, him throwing right there. He didn't need to throw because I still have a shield. And that allowed me to catch up because he was a half a charm ahead. So I throw mine now to get the shield before he can sneak his charm in. This gets me a chance to get rid of a shield and to catch up on charms. So we're going to simul KO here by the looks of it. Yeah. Because he threw, he simul KO'd. If he had just kept attacking, he would have taken out my Cottony. Keep that in mind, guys. Look at if, when you're on a Cottony mirror match. Um, keep an eye on the health. If you're ahead on health, um, sometimes it's best not to be the first one to throw. 
um, just to keep attacking until, you know, either you both die or you win the match. If you're going to lose the match, obviously try to time your attack right. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no way we're winning this. <laughs> okay, we can put this one down as an L. Barboach in the back. That That's a tough one for us. That's a tough one. Not much we can do there. Yeah, not much we can do there. That's okay, though. It'll, it'll be like one HP in a dream for that barboach. Oh, yeah. One, one crunch away. <laughs> good game to my opponent. <clears throat> Very good game. Man, it's a little bit chillier out here today. It's supposed to be like... It's not that bad. It's normal fall weather here. It's about 48 degrees, but in the morning, well, it's going to be 48 degrees later, but right now it's probably like a a nice crisp 29 degrees. <laughs> All right, so Masonori, game number three, one and one. So we need to win two of these next three matches <laughs> to hit rank 10. I was like, oh, man. Okay, so I only have like two sets left. Hope I don't go like 0-5. There's a lot of new like super anti-meta teams out there right now that make it a little bit harder to run this team. But this team, if you play it right, um, you can lose a lead and still win, which you'll also see. Gyro Ball, don't use it. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to get so far ahead on damage because he has Gyro Ball, but that's fine. I mean, you can use Gyro Ball if you want for like the Cottony matchup. I guess <laughs> instead of doing 45% damage, you'll do, yeah, I don't know, 60% damage with your gyro ball. There we go. <laughs> it's so exciting. Uh, here we are at four o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> four o'clock in the morning. Throwing bronzors at each other. It's just uh, wild stuff. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is the the third set of rounds, and we needed 11 wins out of the three sets, so... Well, we needed 11 wins today, so we got 11 wins and four losses, and two of the losses came from this set. <clears throat> but we got to those 11 wins that we needed. So yeah, guys, we can confirm it's definitely not. Um, it's definitely not 50. Now, there's a why not. We know how to play this out. See, this time I'm going to take a mirror coat for science. Here comes my science mirror coat taking, and you can take it. <laughs> but you're gonna lose the matchup. <laughs> uh, you'd win in a no shield, but you're gonna lose the matchup just barely. Get a shield at least. <clears throat> yeah, you'd see where you'd win in the. Um, we're gonna take this. You, you see where you, you you would definitely win in the no shield. Cool, sitting on two Psyshocks. Gonna throw one at the Bronzor. And then one to get rid of his last shield on his last Pokemon. Which is a Cottony, all right. That's great. It's a big dub for us. Because if you add in the Seed Bomb damage plus that one measly tackle, yeah, we're ahead. And we're going to get a Seed Bomb off. So it's a good thing we stacked up those Psy Shocks. Okay, Seed Bomb coming in. And it should be like one or two more charms. I think. One. Yep. Cool. Good game to my opponent. All right. So out of these next two games, we just need to win one of them, right? 
So I'm like, oh man, I don't want to do another entire set video on hitting rank 10 when I just need to go one and four. <laughs> oh, be stupid. All right, here we go. Bronzor on stunky action. So we're, <laughs> we lost the lead hard. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this is our team. This guy's running our team. I've played him a couple times now. Except normally he's leading Cottony. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're done for. Because you have to maintain alignment. So, just not much you can do. So this will be a quick match. This will be a very quick match. I don't even know why I shield this. I should have just backed out <laughs> as soon as I saw he was leading Stunky because, yeah, he's leading my team, which is fine. He's leading Stunky playing my team. It's just not good. Yep. So is... Uh, Bronzor is going to tear through my Whimsicott here. Um, and then <laughs> bring Stunky out. I could could get his Bronzor down, but he, he'll probably switch in, into his Whimsicott. And that's just game over. Yep, game over. Cool. At least he made that quick for us. Okay, so we're on our last game. And I'm sitting there like, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Just one more. We just need one win. Just need one win in this set. The competition's been pretty darn stiff, but we just need one. one. Please lead a Confusion Bronzor, because we know we win that match. Please. Yes. As soon as I saw it, I was like, please be Confusion. Please be Confusion. And praise the Lord. He's Confusion. Then I saw the Dino come in, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this line. I know this line. It's either double dark or um, like essentially the <laughs> the same type of thing that I have. But we're going to get such a big energy lead here. Okay, Grass Knot. A lot of people have been using the the double dark though which has made me very nervous about lining up my stunky after the whimsicott goes down very nervous we're able to get off two charge moves here though and i know he's loaded on energy so i really don't have a choice but to bring my bronzor in yeah totally loaded on energy so I'm going to just farm down. I mean, they can throw what they want. They're probably going to try to get shields out of me. I don't know what they're going to do. That's their win condition. Yeah, so they bait me. <laughs> bait me with a size shock. So we're going to get chip damage. It is the double dark line. We're going to get as much chip damage off as we can. Right about there when we hit red so we know we can still beat the other Bronzor. Bring our Stunky in. Shield and take the victory. Guys, is Lugia 2115 a hundo? I think it might be. Too bad it wasn't shiny. I don't even care. If it's a hundo, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, we shield this, but it doesn't matter. Even if he had doubled up moves, um, we're, we could farm him down with our Bronzor. So. And good game to my opponent. All right. No wild Galvantula is attacking us tonight, guys, which is good. <laughs> that spider was friggin' huge. Um, cool, so a three and two. Cool beans. Rando Mudkip. Just get him out of the way. See you later, Mudkip. Four o'clock in the morning. Just let it let it be done and over with. And there it is, yay! Rank 10. All right, guys. So, <laughs> all right, we did it. We got to rank 10 in three days. <laughs> three days. All right, cool. Um, so now we can kind of like play around and uh, do whatever we want, I guess.
But thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. All the new people here, thank you for being here. All the old people, uh, thank you for sticking around. Um, Peppy and Georgie, thanks for the raids, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Generation out.